Hello everyone and welcome back to Rags to Riches. We are picking up exactly where we left off. We are in Thrift Tea. We've just spent some time with our friends in the second hand shop. We also listed a look on Trendy last episode so hopefully we'll be able to sell back. But we're going to just have a little look to see what is trending on the app. And I'm momentarily just distracted by this lady's hat. It's so big and floppy. That's, it's, it's actually quite a cute outfit. But we're going to have a look on Trendy just to see what sort of things people are buying and the prices. I think we set 165 for our outfit last time to give us a little bit of profit. But we are going to have a little look to see what is on here. So price-wise, our seems about in the middle, which is good. There's a lot of different styles as well. So we do have that one to sell. I believe it is very much seen as a neutral one. Yes, it is neutral hype. So I don't know if we'll be able to sell it, but hopefully we will be able to. But now we're done with our little meetup, we're going to head home got to complete that curator aspiration we've got to get one of those collections finished we have very much been neglecting it so we are going to go to park to try and find some fossils maybe some plants a couple of time capsules would be helpful as well we're getting quite close to the sims figure collection so I believe we're closest for the fossils. We've only got I think five left to get so let's just get her to take care of her needs a little bit while we scout around to see if anything has spawned in. It's probably a little bit too early for it to have spawned in. I've been very quick off the mark trying to look for things. But let's go back to the pond and see if we can find a frog. We have never been successful looking for a frog in one of these ponds. But we've got a phone call from Noah. He wants to have a little prom get together at Desert Bloom. Since we're already here, I think we should accept. It would be a good way to make some teenage friends. But we don't actually know Noah by the looks of it. We've never talked to him. And because it is still talk like a pirate day, I have no idea what those interactions are. And I don't want a negative one. So we'll just do a cheerful introduction to him. I don't know how he got our number if we've never talked to him. Maybe he got it from someone else. A few other teens should start showing up. Yeah, look, there's Dwayne. Maybe Dwayne told him to invite us. We've, we don't have many friends. We should get to spend some time. We've also got Sydney and Morgan here. So we will try to introduce ourselves to them as well. Make some more friends since they've been so nice to us and decided to invite us to their little get together. There's Sydney, he's just wanting to play some chess. So we will talk to him right now, get introduced and then try to get to know him better, work our way through all those pirate day interaction. As I said last episode, I feel like it's a little bit of a pointless holiday, but I forgot to cancel it out of the calendar, so we have it. Here's one of other teens we briefly talked to, Briella. Let's see if anyone else has turned up. So Cassandra's here as well. I think we should maybe talk to her. And let's just see who else is here. Yeah, so it looks like it's just Noah and Morgan and Cassandra for now. Of course, Sydney, who we're talking to, the headmistress just stomping around in the background. Yes, we, we, we don't want to be talking to her. So let's just spend some time with the boys and get to know them a little bit. Again, having to ignore all those pirate things because I don't really know what any of them mean. And we've already got the gold on the day for this, so we don't need to bother with it. We've also found out about a new type of fish. We can get a salmon. So that was very helpful. I believe Noah gave us that information, but he's very tense right now. Don't know why he's so tense. Maybe he asked someone to prom and he's worried they won't show up. 
who else is there? There's a team called Kevin. We've also got Wolfgang as well. I believe he is an evil sim. One of your playthroughs I did, I, I did interact with him a lot and I think he's very evil and a kleptomaniac. But Dirk Diamond is here again. He seems to like hanging out in this park. So that's why the paparazzi is around and there's some fans around, but we're just not going to interact with him. <laughs> But he's sat down at our chess table. Oh my gosh. He's just decided I'm gonna sit here. There was empty tables, but she's he's sitting with these two random teenagers. She's not Carly's not even looking his way. She does not care. So let's just try and get to know Sydney some more. Let's ignore the celebrity and all the chaos going on around us. There's lots of people turning up. Let's she wants to go sunbathe um okay she's decided just to sunbathe right here in the middle of this group of people and she's trying is she trying to talk to now oh i think it's kevin he's all the way over there yeah she's trying to talk to him we haven't actually introduced herself but apparently we have a friendship bar but it's getting very, very crowded here. It doesn't really look like there's too many other teenagers for me to introduce Carly to. So I think because it's a bit crowded, we're going to try and look for plants and dig spots to see if there are any. But I don't think we're going to be lucky today. I'm not seeing anything pop up so far. I'm trying to check as much of this area as I can. I probably have missed some stuff which will drive people crazy because it does drive me crazy when I don't find things and then later on I have a little look around and I obviously went over stuff. It doesn't look like there is an awful lot going on. I don't think we're going to be able to find any more fossils for our collection but there should be a frog spot somewhere down here, if I remember correctly. Yep, the little tap and a frog spot. So let's run away from all those people while we have another little look around. A lot of the plants here are out of season, but we should be going into summer soon. We are still in spring. But yeah, it does not look like there's any dig spots, so we're not going to be lucky when it comes to that. So let's head across to the frog. <laughs> and Yuki's giving us a phone call. She wants to go out somewhere where we're going. She wants to go to a romance festival. Now Yuki is one of Carly's crushes, but she is a good friend. So I think we're gonna head across to a romance festival. It'll be a good way to spend some time with Yuki and also it's just fun to go out and experience the city. This is a girls trip into town to see the festival. Maybe we can buy ourselves a festival t-shirt and because it is a romance festival it does want us to kiss someone. I don't think we're going to do that today. We don't need to be thinking about romance but the vibes of the area and being around Yuki, I've put Carly in a flirty mood. And there's Cassandra again. We didn't get to introduce ourselves to her at the park because she was coming here, so she maybe went home to change. So we will introduce ourselves to Cassandra and become friends with her. Just having a little chat. And of course it is raining. It seems to be raining a lot when we come to the city, but that is fine. We will be fine. We are going to have a little chat with our friends and then try to haggle so we can get food cheaper. We can save that money. We are on 3,424 simoleons. We are getting closer to that 5,000. But look how cute the festival t-shirt is for this one. It's got those cute pink petals. So let's get ourselves some ramen. We're going to try that. Carly hasn't tried that before. And it looks like we are talking to Luna. She is a teen as well. We've just decided to start speaking to her. So let's do an introduction with her. She will become our friend. And it is prom. We've been asked to go to prom. We are going to skip it this time because we don't go to the school. We were kind of crashing the prom get together beforehand so we're not going to go to a prom but 
Our ramen was sitting on the bar and we didn't grab it and Cassandra's gone to eat it. Cassandra, you're our new friend. You're not supposed to eat our food. We can't get it back, so let's order some edamame beans, which, by the way, are really nice. I, I eat them, like, IRL. They're very, very good. I love them. So let's eat our edamame before anyone can steal it. We don't want to be throwing our money away on lots of food because, well, we don't have an awful lot, but I've just noticed a heart pop up somewhere, the heart is with a plus. I don't know who we were talking to. I don't know where that's come from. I'm not seeing any bars with the pink romance on it. So I don't know where that's come from, but we've had a second successful haggle. So we are going to get a romance t-shirt to add into our wardrobe. So but maybe when we eventually edit some of our outfits or add some more hot weather outfits, we'll be able to add that one in. And we'll see if there's anything good we can buy here from Swagna. It's a lot of fireworks that tends to be the trend with these festivals. It's a lot of fireworks. So let's just go back to talking to Luna. We'll see what we can find out about her. Again, avoiding all those pirate day interactions because I don't know what any of them are and we don't want to be mean to someone by mistake. That makes it even worse. So let's do that and we will also have some of the tea. It will make them very flirty but we are at the festival, it is a treat. So we're going to have a drink of that with Yuki because she has disappeared somewhere. And then we will harvest some of the flowers which are here. We can get some more things for our garden. Hopefully we can get some of the, I believe it's the lilies, can sell for quite a lot. Those would be handy because we could get a couple of them to sell off to get closer to our 5,000 simoleon coal. There's Yuki, she's just gone up to get her drink now. I don't know where she was, maybe she was hiding from the rain in the karaoke bar which is here. So there's a few different flowers we can get, I'm not quite sure, it looks like roses and potentially those lilies I was talking about, yeah definitely some roses. So we will get some of those planted and sold off when we go home. And of course, we're going to grab a poster. We have been unsuccessful at getting any posters when we've been in the city. So that is the first one we have been able to get. And because there is the easels here as well, I feel like we should do a painting. So unfortunately, we've got to scrap this person's painting, which is on here. We can't move it anywhere. So we'll have to get rid of their painting before we start on ours. But I think because we are here, it would be very nice to do um, a reference painting, capture festival in paint. And it will also help our painting skill because we need to, we've neglected a lot of our skills and a lot of our goals for our aspiration because we have been spending the last few episodes making friends and spending time with them. So we need to get back on that grind of the skills. We're literally nearly at the top of that level there. Yep, yeah, we've just leveled up to level five, halfway through the painting skill now because we want to be getting as much skills as we can. It will help us earn money and we are going to be using our points to buy some traits or things to help us when the when we max out the skills so the, clo the sooner we can finish some skills the sooner we can get some things to help us we do also want to finish that aspiration because i want to move on to a different one see if there's anything else we can work on so let's just spend some time painting the festival So we've finished our painting. We are going to pop it into our inventory because it's getting quite late and we might head home soon. Yeah, so we've got that medium one. We'll list it on Flopsy straight away, see if we can get more of it. 
but we're ending early. We have to go home. It is after 11 p.m. at night and we are starting to get tired. I think she'll probably be a little bit uncomfortable as well because she's been in the rain for so long. It's probably buried in all those different flirty and happy emotions. So we are going to head off, but there's another little poster spot there. So let's check that quickly see if we can get a new poster we could put them up in our house just for some decoration the poster is our collection as well but we would be a very long way off completing that seeing as we've been so unlucky whenever we've been in the city looking for posters or snow globes we haven't got any snow globes yet so let's just head home for the night we spent a lot of time today with our friends so i think she just needs a little bit of time by herself yeah get some sleep and we will look after her needs as well needs to shower and needs to use the bathroom and then we'll have a little look to see what plants we've got and i've just noticed there's a hive of strawberries on the floor I don't know why they've been dropped on the floor. Potentially it was from when we were going back and forth being invited to places last episode. So I've just popped them back in the inventory. Yeah, so we've got the Bird of Paradise, which is 51 simoleons each. We'll plant two of them. We have got a tulip. We will plant one of them as well and some roses. So I think we will plant one little rose bush for our garden and put it over by the mailbox. So in the morning, we'll get those all planted. We will harvest the bluebells, sell them off because we don't need them. But yeah, we've got a lot of gardening to do. And talk like a pilot day was, pirate day was successful. Finally, it is over. We can go back to normal interactions or as normal as the Sims would be. And that summer just begun as well. So we're going to be able to find new plants because they will be in season now. All the spring ones will be out of season, which I think is the majority of our garden at the moment. So that could become a problem. But let's pop those posters out we we got just now we've got two of them they're very cute and i think this is the only space i'll be able to put that red one for now i'll need to try and move things around in build mode yes, it's time to work on our garden though carly is very stinky right now she is probably going to become very uncomfortable she also yeah she also needs to eat and take care of those needs before she can continue planting the rest of our new flowers so let's get them planted and then we will need to water everything and oh, those new ones we've just planted because it has gone into summer i think <laughs> are going to be out of season so we've planted them and I don't think we'll be able to make too much profits from what we harvest from them but it will be okay we have them in the ground now and level six gardening we've only got four more levels to go but let's get these grapes and eat them so strawberries and sell off all the flowers we're going we're making a lot i can see the numbers going up we are yeah we've over four thousand now just just a tiny bit but we've done it we're over four thousand we're so close to that five thousand mark which is of course our next goal she has dropped a grape on the ground she doesn't want to eat it but she needs to eat it her hunger is very very low and we've got these new plants to water as well. So have your snack and then water all those plants. We need to take care of our garden. And since we're in summer, there is a few new things going to be happening over the next couple of in-game weeks, which will be good. We're going to have to keep an eye on the weather as well, because there's a potential for storms. There is also the potential of heat waves, so we'll need to make sure Carly is 
getting changed into her summer outfits. But let's just check where we are in the collections. 14 out of 20 My Sims tro trophies. We also have two of the city posters now. And let's check the fossils because that's the closest one we are to. The fossils, we've got 12 of 15, so only three left to go. So the rest of this episode, we need to try and find those dig spots and those rocks. We have got to get this done. I hope maybe we can do it this episode. Oh, and we've had a call from Miki. Yep, sure you're friends with Luna as well. And there's some dig spots. Finally, the first time this episode, they are now appearing for us. There's also another frog. We will grab that because, of course, the frogs are a collection and we need to get some of them. Though, I believe you can only get a couple from breeding them, so I'll have to figure out which ones I am able to breed and get. But we're finding so many dig spots now. They are appearing finally for us. And those bushes have started to go out of season as well. So we were previously able to harvest them, but we can't now. So yeah, let's grab these dig spots to get ourselves some My Sims trophies, hopefully. And those final few fossils. Hopefully we will get them. Found some limestone already, so that is good. Hopefully we can grab a fossil from that. Got a sunflower frog. I believe that's a new one as well. And we found something exciting, a capsule. You can always tell when she does that little happy dance, it is either a metal or a capsule. They're very excited about them, but limestone is not very exciting for them. So two common upgrade parts. I think we will have to sell them off soon just to tidy up the inventory. We have not worked on our handiness skill at all. We, we don't really have a way to work on it at the moment. We're going to probably have to go into the city to the art gallery to use their ones because it's free. We don't, well, we have to pay for the supplies to make it, but we don't need to buy the workbench. So let's grab those few dig spots that cancelled off and find some new ones. There's a couple over here. Again, no frogs at that faucet. I got one right back at the beginning of the series, but it doesn't look like it's ever having any more frogs there. There's a few plants in the little community area, which will be coming into season as well. So we can grab them later on. And I think this is our final little rock and dig spot we've just found. So let's run around and see these ones. A leaf frog. I believe we already have a leaf frog. So a limestone. So that's two limestones we found. So potentially that could be all three of the fossils we need. I don't think I'm that lucky though. It's probably gonna be a grind to find that final spot, um, that final fossil. So let, oh it's a capsule again? Yeah, it's a capsule. So we have got a couple of things to open, but we need to change her outfit. I've noticed something's come up red. The, the weather is in the red as well, so I'm guessing it is her heat. So yeah, we've got one new frog by the looks of it. We have got the limestone to open and the capsules to open. So let's extract the fossils. We've got one new one by the looks of it. And we'll sell off the duplicates. No, we've got two new ones. So that's two out of three new ones. So we've only got the last one to get. Oh my gosh. And my notification wall's full. We have been doing so much. Right, so we've got one new Sims trophy by the looks of it. A couple of duplicate fossils to sell off and one new frog. We've got some duplicates of the figures as well. I was keeping some of them to trade but let's get rid of some of those because we are very close to that 5,000 mark 
which is where I want to be. I want to get to 5,000 just so I can start looking for new things. Yeah, so we've only got that one new fall, so it isn't uncommon, so I think we're going to be running around for ages trying to find it. But maybe in that time we will be able to complete some other collections and move on from this aspiration. So let's run back over to the house. We're going to double check everything's done in the garden. Because I don't know if, sometimes when you get them to water things it doesn't water all of them. And I don't want to lose any of our plants, even if they're out of season. It looks like Luna's here. Oh, Luna's come over to visit. So let's invite our friend in and spend a little bit of time. This is our first proper visitor to the house. We did have Yuki, but we, we stood and talked outside. We didn't invite her in. So we have invited in Luna and I'm noticing some of those flirty interactions come up. So let's check her profile for a minute. It's a crush. Carly has three crushes right now. Maybe the one with Dwayne has fizzled out that, but she has three crushes. I swear, this girl is meeting everyone and deciding she has a crush on them. She's not even flirty or she doesn't have that trait. Oh, so that's going to be interesting. I think just as a teenager, she, she likes everyone at the moment. But I think we're going to start wrapping up this episode here. We'll spend some time with our friend. I think we will go out and clouds the gaze since it is a very sunny and nice day day we weren't able to sell our outfit on trendy it has just ran out and who's this here so we've got Macchio come to visit us uh we don't know him yet so I think next episode we will talk to him and see why he has come to our door 